Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 1. Today we're going to be talking about Superboy and when he will show up, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, Superman Lois is premiering this week on Tuesday, I'm super excited, and that is why we are starting our coverage with today's video, and then we're obviously going to head into episode 1, we're going to review it and break it down when it comes out straight away after, so be on the lookout in the evening when it drops on Tuesday night, and my video will come out like half an hour or like an hour after it ends. So if you want to see Superman Lois videos and you are very excited for the show, please be sure to check out all my Superman Lois videos as the season starts, because it's only worth it for me to make videos if you guys actively want them and actively click on them and watch the videos and engage with it, you know, leave comments and such, then it's absolutely worth it and I really want it to be a show that we cover, especially since Supergirl is going away, obviously we're going to keep on doing Supergirl content with the Supergirl movie coming out, there is going to be a another video coming out tonight so double upload tonight that's going to be about the Supergirl movie but yeah just show your support for Superman Lois if you're excited for it so anyway without further ado let's go into today's video so we're going to be breaking down when is Superboy going to show up so we all know that they've retconned the Arrowverse they've retconned what happened in Supergirl they've retconned what happened in Crisis on Infinite Earths because Superman Lois just had a child they had a baby and now that baby has turned into two magically teenaged kids and so it's something that obviously has no explanation, they just retconned it for the sake of their show, which is okay, but we're going to be theorizing about the Super Sons as per se, that's what we're going to be calling them. So we got Jonathan and Jordan Kent, they are both Clark and Lois's kids, and obviously in the trailers we've seen them featured, they're featured on the poster, that means they're going to be a big thing in the show. And so in the premiere you're going to have to look forward to seeing them for the first time and obviously they're not going to be Superboy yet, like they're not going to have superpowers or anything, but we're going to break down why Jonathan is going to become Superboy at one point. Okay, so obviously we have the super family stuff going on, we know that at some point they are going to develop powers, well at least one of them, maybe two, we'll have to wait and see, but the CW always has a main team on every single DT TV show, so what I mean by a team is a Team Flash, a Team Supergirl. And Superman Lois's team, I'm pretty sure, is going to be his family. I don't think there's going to be that many additions to his main kind of core group that's showing up, helping out, defeating villains. And I'm pretty sure at some point the Super Sons won't just say as just normal kids, normal teenagers. I'm pretty sure at some point they're going to join the team and they're going to get superpowers because most obviously this was teased in the trailer where some pipes fall down on top of both of the teenagers. And so Jonathan and Jordan should be dead really, or they should be at least crippled and like all their bones broken and everything. A normal person would die essentially. And considering we know they're going to be fine, this seems to lead towards the idea already that they're going to have powers because no human would survive that. And so the trailer definitely hints towards Superboy coming. And so it seems like they have their powers already, but they haven't realized it. Maybe they look back at the past and like, Hmm, there was a few freak events, like I was super strong, maybe I stopped the car, maybe I climbed up a tree and broke the branch, snapped it right in half, something like that, right? I feel like they're going to have a moment where they're like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Well, we know that they're going to be kind of blaming Superman at first, blaming their dad, like, why didn't you tell us and everything? Why didn't you tell us I'm half Kryptonian and half human? I thought I was just a normal human. And so, obviously, they didn't know that Clark is... Superman and they get the reveal I believe in episode 1 so obviously that is going to be explored but that's another thing so let's get back onto the Superboy theory of Superboy showing up so in the comics they only have one son so Superman and Lois only have one son and that son is Jonathan Kent so Jordan Kent is made up for the TV show and obviously that means that they're half Kryptonian half human so there is a 50-50% chance of getting powers even in the recent comics, in Future State right now, in some of the Superman issues, they talk about how, you know, Superman's descendants are like barely Kryptonian, they're like part Kryptonian but mainly human, and therefore they don't have the same kind of powers. So there's obviously the chance that if Jonathan or Jordan gets powers, it's going to be different, it's going to be maybe more diluted, or there is the chance because they're the literal bloodline like straight away after Superman, 
that their powers are going to be really strong. So in the comics, Jonathan becomes Superboy at some point. Well, it was in 2016, roughly, when he did for the first time. And so recently, in DC's recent event, Future State, he's actually the main Superman. So he replaces his dad, who is exiled away. But yeah, so Jonathan is a big thing in the comics. And so that's why I'm kind of leaning towards like him specifically becoming Superboy at some point. Like, I'm sure Jordan is going to get powers at some point. I'm just not sure if he's going to be called like Superboy or something like that. Unless they want to do a twist on the comics. But they like to stay pretty faithful to the comics most of the time. So the question comes in, is it going to be both for the Super Sons? Are they both going to get superpowers and become Superboy? Or is it going to be only one of them? Well, that's people's theories right now that it's just going to become Jonathan because Jonathan has the powers in the comics. But it kind of makes sense that, you know, they would both have powers considering they're both the son of Superman. And obviously there is the idea that they're half Kryptonian, half human. So 50-50% chance that they get powers or they're just normal human. So maybe Jonathan is that 50% Kryptonian and that's why he has powers. And maybe Jordan turns out to be more human, more like Lois. So maybe he doesn't have powers. That's obviously one explanation for one of them not having powers. So we'll have to wait and see. But in the comics, Jonathan Kent is very exciting. He's a member of the Legion of Superheroes at points. This could link back to some future stuff that could happen that links towards Supergirl and what's happened with the Legion of Superheroes in the past on that show. So there is a lot of connections and I'm betting on that Jonathan is going to become Superboy. I'm not sure if it's going to happen straight away, like, I think in the first episode you're going to get a little glimpse of his powers, like we saw in the trailer. But whether he gets it straight away, like he properly gets a hold of his powers and he uses his powers straight away and flies around Smallville, I don't know. But it seems likely that they're going to set him up to become Superboy at some point. And so it seems like Season 1 is going to definitely set up their powers. And I don't know if they're going to become a superhero in season one because maybe that would be a bit too early and they need a point where they can kind of develop. And that is a point to develop towards because that is a big event. That's a big change in their lives because they are teenagers after all. And, you know, they probably have their normal life that they have to go through. It's been mentioned they have some struggles, some teenager issues. And they're going to have to get past that and also they're going to have to get past the fact that their dad's been lying to them for so long and that he's Superman. So there's a chance that they reject their powers, they reject that they're part alien, they're part Kryptonian. So that could totally happen. However, there is still a chance that I think Superboy could become Superboy in Season 1 if they want to head towards, you know, having this kind of super family thing going on a lot earlier. They can definitely develop Jonathan and his powers and maybe actually Jordan as well or Jordan instead if they want to do a twist on the comics. So I think there is a lot of avenues that they can go down. But it seems the obvious thing is they're going to make Jonathan Superboy at some point and they're definitely going to tease it at the start of this season. And I believe Superman and Lois is going to have 15 episodes this season so they've got like a while and I don't know if it's going to happen like at the mid season like halfway through. But it seems like they're going to definitely lead up towards something like that. And so remember guys, Superman Lois is coming out on Tuesday and it's going to be a two hour premiere event. The first part is going to be some documentary stuff where you're going to have like Grant Gustin, Nicole Maines and like lots of different cast members and showrunners from the other shows talking about Superman Lois, why they're excited that they're joining the Arrowverse. So that's going to be like a whole big event on Tuesday night. So Please be sure to not miss out on that because I'm going to be watching it live and then I'm going to be making my video, my breakdown straight away afterwards. So be on the lookout for that and I can't wait to get into Superman Lois. And please be sure if you like the show and if you like my videos on it to watch as many videos as you can so that we can keep on making them because I really do want to. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.